If we're being real, we are 33% way through the NFL season. It's time to talk about it. Let's get into it. All right. So today we're just going to do a quick little recap. We're going to say the best teams in the NFC, the best teams in the AFC, and if they're going to keep it going. Do you want to start off with the AFC or the NFC, sir? AFC. AFC? All right. So the AFC has had a couple uh, surprises for sure. Uh, one being that the Bengals obviously had that very rough start. We expected them to be up near the top tier of the teams, but until we can get consistent play multiple, multiple weeks, I'm not going to put them up there with the top teams. I think that the top teams in the AFC are the Dolphins, the Bills, and the Chiefs. I would agree with that. And um, now let's get into quick, who do you think the best team out of those three are? Honestly, I'm going to say the Bills. Surprisingly, yeah. I really think the Bills. And it's hard to root against the Chiefs until you throw Taylor Swift into the mix, and then all of a sudden everything comes (laughs) unraveled. That's fair. That's fair, yeah. No, but seriously, the play, a lot of times, the way Mahomes is playing, it seems like he's getting lucky. He's just chucking the ball up, and stuff's either happening positive, happening negative, and it's not like there's a lot of consistency there. Yes, he's a great quarterback, but it's just not looking like I can trust them in general. And they're just not looking good, right? Like, you look at the teams that they're beating, and they're barely beating them. I mean, the Chiefs-Broncos game, that was a lot closer than it should have been. The Chiefs-Viking game, that was a lot closer than it should have been. Every single game this year has been a lot closer than it should have been. I mean, just look at Other than the Bears, but obviously, like, the Bears were just absolutely terrible at that point. Yeah, but look at the Chiefs-Jets. I mean, the Jets don't even have Aaron Rodgers. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. And still... It was yeah. A, what was three point game? Uh, yeah, three point game. You lose to the Lions. That's your loss. Obviously, you didn't have Travis Kelsey, so we'll kind of give you a pass on that. You barely beat the Jaguars, who were just floundering. Like they just haven't been looking good. They haven't been looking the same. They're missing weapons on the outside, and you don't have a guy who can go and get the ball when you have a quarterback who just kind of throws it up and it usually goes your way. Well, if you don't have good wide receivers out there. That's not the case anymore. So now let's go to the Dolphins' Bills. Obviously, the Bills have the worst record out of the three, but the Bills have the head-to-head matchup. We talked about it. We don't think that that was necessarily as one-sided as it kind of looked. But with that being said, I do not trust the Dolphins' injury situation with Tua. That's, I mean, that's fair. Their offense is absolutely lethal when everybody's healthy, but that, that's a big if. Big if. 100%. Now let's get into real quick. The Bills, they went and they lost overseas, obviously, and then they barely beat the Giants. That's not a great look, but I don't really know what to tell you there. It's It wasn't a great look, barely beating the Giants. They should have beat them by more, but also were they just coming back from London? And I don't know. The whole travel they, You weren't exactly expecting the Giants to be as tough of a team as they were. Again, we're going into like, were they feeling themselves too much and thinking, oh, we're so good, we don't really have to worry about these bad teams. Hopefully that's not a thing that's actually going on. But I do think that the Bills are the top team. Unfortunately for them, that doesn't usually pan out at the end of the year, as we've seen recently. Uh, with that being said, let's now get into the NFC. Who are you thinking the top teams are there, sir? I mean, honestly, probably the Cardinals right now. I think they're a little bit down and a little bit out, but no, okay, Eagles. The Eagles are my pick again. I mean, they are a strong team just like last year. Okay, so you think Eagles are the number one. To me, the NFC is another three-team horse right now. The Lions, the 49ers, and the Eagles. In my opinion, those are the only three teams we really have to worry about. We ain't getting into Cowboys, so let's just, yeah. Sorry, Cowboys fans, you ain't up there. So out of that, I'm again, I still stand with the Eagles. 49ers at a close second. Dude, I just don't trust the Lions. I know they got a good record and they're playing pretty good. I don't trust them. Come on. You know what's sad? Out of those three teams, I think I trust the Lions the most. Oh, my goodness. The 49ers last week lose Debo Samuel. They lose Christian McCaffrey. And they lose Trent Williams. Yeah, that Three hurts. huge pieces to that team. Are you sitting there telling me that they're not going to... I mean, if they can come back and they can be relatively healthy, good. But we talked about it. This is the year for the injury unluckiness to hit them and they also had it last year but it was only to the quarterback position relatively the rest of the team was pretty healthy so this year it's the rest of the positions that they're going to have troubles with you know and i don't trust the 49ers for that reason i still think that the rams are going to win that division 
they're looking pretty good, and Cooper Cup is back in form already. He's, he's, he's looking great. The Rams are looking a lot better now that Cooper Cup is back. So I don't even think they're going to win their division still. The Eagles, they also haven't looked good. Yes, they're 5-1. and one. Yes, they were undefeated going into this week. But you lose to a Jet team that, like, come on. Jalen Hurts looked really bad, like really bad in that game. In general, the offense hasn't been looking great. Yeah, their defense has been looking good. Their offense isn't looking great, and that's the biggest thing. They need to get their offense rolling. And after six weeks, you would think you would see signs of that, not it being just as bad as it was at the beginning of the year. So with that being said, I do think that the Lions are the best team in the NFC. I mean, those are some valid concerns, but I still am standing with the Eagles. I think the Eagles. You think they're going to be able to pull it around? I think they will pull it around. Man. See, the thing is, I don't, I'm not really an Eagles fan, but... I'm not either, but I don't trust the Lions. <laughs> the Lions are looking pretty good, though. I it's mean, they, the Lions, they're even though. having injuries and still looking decent. To be fair, they're not really facing a whole bunch of tough teams right now, but the, the rest of their schedule isn't them facing a whole bunch of tough teams. Like, their schedule is pretty dang easy this year. And I think the Eagles have the toughest remaining schedule going out, which means they're not going to have home field advantage in the playoffs. I'm just saying, I think the Lions, uh, Honestly, I, I trust the Lions. I'm already getting excited for the playoffs, though. You getting excited for the, yeah? We're, we're just I, about I'm, that time. I'm ready where, to see that start unfolding already. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're about to start seeing teams fall off, teams keep roaring up, stuff like that. Fortunately for the 49ers, I think you could be in real trouble. If Chris McCaffrey and Debo Samuel are out for a long time, that's an issue, but that's it for today. Let us know what you guys think, who you think is the best team in the AFC and the NFC so far, and who you think is going to be meeting in the Super Bowl. With that being said, until next time, keep it real.